Welcome to Words of Aloha with Pastor Izzy Manzo of Amazing Grace Ministries International. We're headquartered in Kailua Kona on the Big Island of Hawaii. Join us now as we get into God's Word. To God be the glory who made it so we could all come to faith in Jesus. You know, that's the, that's the salute at the end. To God be the glory. What a great way to end the letter, you know? To God be the glory who did all the work. You know, and people, people, our culture likes to, to, I call it glory grab. Everybody give me the glory. All I can tell you is, I know that God kept us here for 25 years. If, if you wanted to have a real fun day, I could just start recounting all of the crazy, insane, cool miracles that God has done to pull it off, you know, day in, day out. I was telling the boys yesterday, you know, sometimes they're praying, oh, God, give me money so I can get this truck. <laughs> and we were praying with our with, with, with young man, Luke. He's, where's Luke? He's teaching Sunday school over there. He's like, could, is it all right if my, my, my boss is getting a new truck? And, and his old truck only has 60,000 miles. Would it be okay, do you think, if we asked God that I could get his old truck when he gets, because his new one's on the ship coming, when he gets here? You know, he's got to do something with it. Would that be, like, bad to pray? I'm like, no, I think that's allowed. I mean, you, you can ask. doesn't mean you're going to get it, but, but you can ask, right? I mean, and he's like, but I don't have money to buy it. I mean, it's a pretty nice truck. I mean, it's like a big truck, you know, and it's a work truck. And I'm thinking money is relative when you're talking about God. I mean, and when you talk about God providing, I mean, you know, like the prophet, he's there under the tree on the middle of the desert. There ain't no like drive-ins to get supper or somewhere to go just get a drink. So what's the Lord do? Just has a little spring pop up and give him a drink. And then he, then he has a, get this, airmail delivery. Flew the food in, bird, raven, carried in and dropped the meat next to the prophet. Here you go. Here's your sup. I mean, the kid's in the middle of the, I grew up in a desert, okay? To just say, yeah, that happens all the time. Birds fly by and drop your food off for you. And that happened Day after day after day, you read the scripture. It's amazing. The Lord just going, I got you. And if I told you how many times the Lord has taken care of my family and done these things. So a truck, let me think. That's pretty hard. I don't know. Can God do a truck? He's like, but I don't have the money for the truck. I said, why do we have to pray for the money? Why don't we just ask the Lord maybe to put it on your boss's heart and give you the truck? He goes, oh, I never thought of that. Well, I kind of thought of it, but I, I don't know. You know, it was like a passing thought. <laughs> like, can God do something even as what we think is that super huge? No way. Sure. He can do it. And he's God. The God who we say, how much glory goes to? All. Just remember, give him the glory. When he does these things. All I can say is glory be to God. He has provided over and over and over for our little church on the beach. He has done things for us that, you know, and people say you can't meet on the beach. And it's, it's, it's like a public place and it's not allowed. And there's rules against it. For 15 years we've met here. And the park guys won't let us go now. They're like, you're the only one that cleans it up and you pull all the weeds and you trim the trees and you get trash cans and you get picnic tables donated and you build rock walls. And see, I didn't grow up in a generation where we didn't do stuff. You see a problem, you, we were taught, get up, we'll fix it. I thank the Lord he's given me strength. There's been times when my body's going, I'm done. But it says, yea, those, what does it say, Isaiah 40? It says, yea, those that wait upon the Lord shall renew their what? Their strength. They shall mount up with wings like eagles. They shall run and not grow weary. They shall walk and not faint. I have waited on the Lord a lot in these 25 years. Waited on him. God, give me strength. And you know what? 
I'm here to tell you, he is faithful. To him goes the glory. The one who gives us strength to make it through every day, to make it and face the future, to him be the glory. He is great. He has done it. And you know, I just, it's so nice to be able to brag on him. People go away then thinking about him. That's what I want you to go away with today. The Lord is great. And don't worry, you're going to fight battles, but just remember, the God of peace is going to put Satan where? Crushed underneath your feet. Just remember that. When it gets really bad, I want you to remember, Pastor Izzy said, on the 25th anniversary, God's going to win. The good guys are going to win. You don't need to know about evil. You need to know the big picture. God, the good, will win over Satan, the evil. And it's a great thing. I mean, I just rejoice. It's such a privilege to tell you guys this stuff. Such a privilege to serve the Lord in Hawaii. I mean, I, I, I think when they said no one would come here, like, why? I mean, look at this wallpaper. We have the best wallpaper in the world. I, I'm an outdoor kid, if you haven't figured it out. So Mike Kessel asked me, are you going to get a building someday? I said, I don't know, I hope not. I mean, <laughs> well, why? And he goes, well, you know, I like to have some permanence. I'm like, I'm not even permanent in this world. I'm, I, you know, but the only thing that I can share of permanence is the message of the gospel. I can pass that on. And I don't need a building to do that. That, that part I finally got through. God had to go, let me show you something. You keep thinking you control the thermostat. See, I was used to growing up in Arizona. We had to get there early and turn it on for heat in the winter. We had to turn it on for AC in the summer. It's like we were in control somehow of the environment. Then God goes, let's go to the beach. I'm going to show you who's in control of the thermostat. And when you see a lot of clouds out there, not like today, and you're going, oh God, please let it not rain. Please make it so we can have service, you know. And, 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 and we can touch the lives that need to be touched. You start figuring out you're not in charge of the thermostat anymore. Who is? God. Man, if there's anything I could tell you, is that God is in control. The Lord is great. Just give him the glory. To God be the glory. That's all I got for you today. Next week, praying about doing 1 Corinthians, the very next book. Now, the next book is the next book in chronological order of the Bible, but it's actually written before this book. And, uh, and we don't know yet. We just prayed yesterday. We just prayed yesterday. You can be praying for Luke for the truck or for the money to buy the truck or whatever God wants to. We don't, you know what? One thing I learned is don't tell God how to do something. You, ever, you might figure this out the longer you're a Christian, but, you know, does it really work to tell him the detail, the particular? God, you need to do it this way and this way and this way and line this up and make that person meet that person so that person can give that to this person. That can, and then it could come around and come to me. The guy goes, wow, really complicated. How about I just give it to you? You know, I just got to drop it at the doorstep. I mean, God can do stuff that you're just not thinking about. He's God. If you can receive it, you don't have to tell him how to do his job. I'm a living testimony. I'm here to testify. Don't tell him how to do it. Just ask. Put your petition before him. God, can I have the truck? Or God, can I have the... Whatever. Give us this day our what? Daily bread. Lord, you know what we need, our daily portion. Please give us what we need this day. And don't tell him how to do it because he can do it in ways you, you might not be thinking of. He might say, look down, pick up that penny. That's only a penny, Lord. That's yeah, a 1943 copper wheat bag. You guys do know if you see one, give it to me, right? <laughs> you probably don't want it. It's only worth like 100 grand. I mean, the, the Lord is not limited. I, I just want to encourage you in that today because he is so good. And it's, it's so encouraging the things that he can do when you give him room. So let's pray. Lord, thank you so much for the privilege to wrap up 25 years, Lord, of, of doing Sunday services. Lord, it's an honor and a privilege to serve a God who is so faithful, has taken care of myself and my wife, has allowed my father to come to faith before he went to meet you as his maker. Lord God, you are 
truly a God to whom all glory and honor is due. And so to you I say praise, praise and honor and thanks from my lips. Thank you, Father, for your provisions for my family, for our church family. Lord, thank you for all the things that you have helped me to grow in, the areas, Lord, of growth that you're still working. Lord, continue to do that in all of us that someday people will hear about the obedience of our faith to you. As it spreads through the world, Lord, we just pray they would come to find out there are believers who obey you, even out in Hawaii. I'd love to leave that as a legacy, Father. So continue to keep us strong, I pray, in Jesus' name. Amen. And everyone that agrees said? Amen. Amen. Would you stand with me listening a closing song? Let you go off in the joy of the Lord. And Mahalo for joining us. If you'd like more information about us, go to our website, AmazingGraceKona.com, and click the link to follow us on Facebook. That's AmazingGraceKona.com. Mahalo, and God bless.